but we love our solo stove. And I'm gonna show you how we use our solo stove. How we start it, what we do, the accessories we bought. Let's do it! Hey guys, this is Mark with the Art of RVing. If you're not a sub, hit that sub button. And if you are a sub, thank you, thank you, thank you. This okay, so we decided to get the Solo Stove Ranger because we want to transport it around. If you've not seen this video of me with the transporter that I invented, uh, click on it, you're gonna see what this is. So inside here, we keep our Solo Stove. You should get this handle. It's very awkward to hold this thing, you know? And you can move it while it's hot also, but be careful. This thing right here, it's one of the drawbacks. This thing is like an iron. It will burn you, you get no second chances on it. And another thing we did is we've got the fire ring here, and it's supposed to be cool underneath it, but since we're in the yard, I went ahead and put this underneath it, even though I don't think it, I've seen it, I've seen it in snow, where it didn't even melt below it. I mean, that's how cool it is at the bottom. But anyway, I didn't want Carrie to freak out. So I put the ring, I get this ring, because I think that it brings it up just a little bit more to get more air coming into it. And this just pushes down, and that's the handle here. Okay, then we, this goes here, but I'll put, yeah. So I know that this goes up so that I can see my, my fire ring inside here. That's how I know this is up. I did this by accident once and I couldn't see it, right? But now I can see the holes in it. That's how I know. Another thing that I really, really wanted was the lid. And they say that you can like serve drinks on it, you know, I guess, or whatever, but it's not for serving. All I wanted to do is in case the fire was still going or had embers when we went to bed, I wanted a top for it, you know? I guess you could use it, you know, to put stuff on or whatever. Okay, so off with the lid. Can you hear that dog barking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Parker, Parker's behind there. Hey. That's my son. So the first time that we used the solo stuff, the first thing we did is we concentrated on our wood. And here's one thing, if you don't have this wood cracker, but this is incredible. I got, how big is that hammer? Like a five pound, I three pounds? I think four pound. Yeah, they're both gonna be in the, into the, com, uh, the description, but if you want a easy way to split your wood, that's it. I've got it down to pencil, I mean, easy, you know? Look at that, that is easy. And I am into easy, believe me. If you don't have one of those, you need to go get one right now. So what I did for a fire starter is I got this stuff called fat wood, right? It's like natural, what do you call it, fire starter, okay? And I was like, you can get a 25 pound bag, like for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I'll put the link below if you'd use that, please do. But only two of these sticks will start a fire. I mean, it is insane. So if you get a shot down here, this is kind of how we do it. So down below, I just kind of do my little TP. I know they say two, but I don't know. So I get my TP going, something like that, right? Okay, and then on my wood cracker, look how thin I got these pieces, easy, okay? And they say not to put it above this or it's gonna start smoking. Well, unless you're gonna get these end pieces, they look like these. I requested the guy that cuts wood for us, if you ask them to get you some, I forget, what are they? Wood chunk, chunk wood, chunk wood. Ask him for chunk wood, they just put it in a big pile. And I went down there and he said he had chunk wood and so it's small enough to fit down below, but I wasn't hassling it because I wanted to see what happens if I brought it above the holes to see what it would do, so. Anyway, so then I put this in, and I make my little teepee, like so. Boom, I'm ready for a fire. And if you don't have one of these, I'm gonna put the link down below, you need one. And Parker, what's the awesome thing about this? You don't need a striker. You don't need a striker. Every time you push that, that electronic, it is worth the money, believe me. You don't want a striker every time. So I'm gonna put it in, and look how fast this Look at how fast that fat wood lit, and it smells awesome. But at first I was freaking out because the fat wood, we noticed that it was burning black. And I was like, oh no, it's smoking. But can you get a shot on that black smoke? But the black smoke on it is just the fat wood burning. And so it's just like, man, it is awesome. I've never seen, and for the money, I mean, you can get so much of this for nothing. But basically, as soon as this catches, we start putting our chunk wood in there and boom, it is awesome. And one other thing we do love about our solo stove is that, I, hey, I'll go in the morning, Parker. In the morning, 
I will show you what is left of us burning. Show all this wood. We're gonna burn this wood tonight. And this thing will probably burn all this wood tonight. It burns an extreme amount of wood. I never thought, what's that? What's the effect, you know, where it sucks in and goes to the top? The catalytic, catalytic principle or? Maybe. Whatever it is, but it burns super, super hot. And it's proven in the mornings, man, because in the mornings, there's only ash left. So tonight, I'll show you what it looks like when we're burning it. In the morning, I'll come out here early. And I'm gonna show you what's left in it, man. So that's how we do our solo soap. And one more thing, I'll put it in the link. We always put buckets that is like tubs into our basement of our RV. And I wanted a fire poker, right? And I don't need a big, long fire poker. Dude, the fire is small. You know what I mean? It's tiny. So I wanted a small fire poker, but that will not fit into my tub. But look at this. This thing will unscrew. And I found a collapsible fire poker that I can put inside one of my tubs. And I will leave the link below on this, but I thought this was super smart. And on top of that, I don't like the ones that had like the straight handles like that. You'll see where they're just a rod. I wanted one with a true handle. You see that? Because I just like the feel of that better. And I think, it, you know, you have better control on it. So anyway, okay, tonight we're gonna have the whole fam out. You're gonna meet them and include Mimi. It's her birthday today. <laughs> 79 years old. And we're gonna show the fire. We're gonna show how it's burning. And we're gonna get some take on it from Carrie who has experience with it since we burnt one like crazy last time we were camping. And I'm gonna show you the ashes in the morning. Okay, Parker, you got anything else? Nothing else. Let's go. Okay, so here's our solo stove. There's my son. Hey. Okay, how long's it been? It's been probably about five or 10 minutes here at the solo stove with that fat wood. Yep. And the wood cracker getting those real thin pieces on top of there. It lit up no problem at all. Wood cracker. Link in the description. Just waiting for it to burn down and we'll see how it goes. Tell them we forgot to put the ring on it right there. <laughs> we forgot to put the ring this, on top. This part. Oh, that's the whole thing that, that makes part. it do what it does. Yeah, and that's what makes that's what funnels the air up. <laughs> I did, that's the second time I forgot to put that piece on there. And it's not that easy to put it on there once mm. you've got the wood coming no, out. No. See how the wood's coming out the top above the holes? I'm not too worried about it because dude, it is almost smokeless at this point. There uh, it is. There there's, is a, there's a little bit. There's a little bit, that's all. But it's still above the holes. It's not as much, it's way less than it would be if this were just on the ground. Yeah, that's true. We wiped this with alcohol, like they said, to keep those blue fingerprints off of it. And it pretty much it didn't do crap. But we figured it's gonna be a stove, right? <laughs> I mean, it's gonna turn, it's gonna look like that or worse. This is like the third burn out of it, so. All right, man. We'll see when the family gets awesome. out. Okay, so this is about 24 minutes into it. The tall stuff is already burnt and went below the holes and I have two pieces of chunk wood in there and being a photographer I got to show you this this is the characteristic of color balance check out this color now check out what color this is man is that beautiful man it's fantastic cool and warm okay so here we are it's really cold in Texas how cold do you think it is 40 40 like something 25. like that <laughs> but look we oh maddie says it's 45. Uh, this, <laughs> this is my daughter over here <laughs> look at her covered up we've got the fire going above the recommended holes but look at it it's doing great not much smoke coming out of it not at all i can feel some heat coming out of there there's carrie all bundled up Hello. hey and here is the birthday girl mimi, mimi. 79 years old hello <laughs> how am i as a son-in-law Hmm. Oh! Let me think about that. All right, think, there's Parker. Hey! Yeah, and the solo stove's doing good. There's our dog, Buck. Oh, actually, it's my son's dog, Buck. And that fire's really coming up out of there pretty good. How tall do you think that is, Parker? Mm, like from the top or total? Probably a foot and a half. Yeah, probably about a foot and a half. We like to see the fire burn off the wood. So above is good for us. Because we wasn't sure that it's down below. We couldn't <laughs> see it burning enough. But man, there's still very little smoke. Oh man, so little smoke. So here we are. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. 10 out of 10. I'd say 10 out of 10 <laughs> so far. There we go. Okay, guys, so here we are the morning after our fire. And uh, I put the lid on it last night. It still had some wood burning in there. And I think it does snuff the wood a little bit because it's not as ashy as it usually is without the lid on it. But I still want to leave it with the coals in there. So. Here's the lid, 
And like I said last night, we forgot to put this fire ring on there, uh, on the top. And because this is what makes it whoo, come up. And, and one time I put it on wrong, and I knew it because I couldn't see my holes in there, right? So, but anyway, and last night, if you remember, we burnt, this thing was about full of wood. And chunk wood, like I was saying last night, this is all that we had left. How many pieces do you think we burnt last night? Probably? I don't even know, good. 10, 15? I say 10, 15 pieces of chunk wood, you know? And then look what's left in the bottom of it. I mean, this is what's amazing. That's after me putting the lid on it. I mean, there is nothing left in there, not like a fire. And see how it goes to, goes to ashes, like so. And like I said before, this on the transporter, which you look at the other video on this, but I definitely would suggest getting this handle because see at this point I would have to pick it up like this or pick it up on its side. But here it just fits in. I can pull it out like this. So essentially, just get it and dump it out. Some people were saying to get a brush and brush those, brush them out in there. And I could see now where it probably would be a good idea. But it basically just falls down into that catch at the bottom. Bam, there it is, ready to go again. Like I said before, this is how we transport it. So then just to put it up, which is awesome. We loved it, didn't we, Parker? Mm -hmm. Worked out well. Put your bottom piece in there. Okay. Put this down inside the transporter. Drop your handle down in there. Put your fire ring upside down on it. Put your lid on it. Put your top on it. Bam. It's ready to go another day. And I wanted to touch on this little wagon right here. I didn't, this wagon is awesome. Are you getting that, Parker? This little wagon, uh, I'll link it below. It's an adventure ridge. And it has like the extendable handle and all, but essentially this thing is a monster. I have loaded this thing full, and I was afraid that it wasn't going to be, that it was going to squash down on me, but it didn't do it. But check out this. It has like a hard top bottom on it, and it folds up flat. So whenever I'm transporting my fire, I put my fat wood in the front here. I put all my little stuff in the front, and then I load up my chunk wood in the back. And it's very convenient because then I can transport it like so. And then I can pull it to wherever I want to go with it. So that's how we do it. So overall, I would say solo stove so far, we're thrilled with it. It made a good fire, didn't it, Parker? Mm -hmm, great and fire. Parker had a great <coughs> thought last night is that it's almost like a gas fire, the way it burns off, you know? And it just kind of comes up and makes this cool fire at the top. But we do like to see the wood burn. And that was that was something that we, you know, it kind of goes down inside the solo stove and you can't see the fire burning the wood, but we do like to put the wood out the top. So the long pieces that you get, you know, where you buy them at the store or wherever where they're longer and they're not chunk wood, we put those out at the top and we burn them and it makes the wood, sh the, the fire show on the wood itself being burned. And it's awesome. And you know, last night it was smoke free, wasn't it, Parker? Mm -hmm. We backlit the smoke and tried to see how much smoke. There, it was almost no smoke at all. But of course, when you put the wood above the holes, there's gonna be a, a little smoke, but nothing like a campfire, right? I mean, it was awesome. So overall, I would say solo stove, thumbs up.